Adam Booth, Upshift Online, here with the 2021 Beta 200 RR two-stroke. This dirt stash, courtesy of a hot summer day in Idaho and following other riders through the dust. Not a lot of moisture in the ground right now. So anyway, this bike is super cool. 200 is kind of its own class now. It's kind of a lone wolf. This has the oil injection on the two strokes. So you don't have to mix gas anymore. You just pop this seat with one button. Seat pops up, you keep your little two stroke oil container in here full and the bike does the rest of the thinking for you. you just twist the throttle and go ride. So 200s, very light, very agile, very almost like an electric mountain bike feel. It's got a Sax fork up front, Sax shock in the back. So those are uh, set up for off-road, obviously. This is a full-on trail bike because you're not going to the motocross track. You're not going high-speed desert smashing through much. Well, maybe some people will try, but this is 200 like this. is super built for the single track, the off-road, the loving enduro style riding. Um, there's definitely a style of person, style of size, speed, ability, who's gonna love a two, uh, 200 two-stroke more than others. Uh, I weigh 175, I have a lot of fun on them. You do have to work the clutch a little more, but this 200 lugs down, impressive. It's cool because it'll it'll full on just roll on the throttle out of a corner and work its way through the RPM. And then the little 200 just sings way up higher than a 250 or a 300, especially a 300 that they don't really rev out high. That's not what they're designed for. But Beta's done a really good job of making this engine kind of work all the way through the RPM range. There have been 200s in the past that were a little pipey, a little like a 125 where you have to use too much clutch to get out of the corners and get going. But if you pick the right gear on this and you kind of, you do use the shifter more, it'll pull out of the corner, it'll lug, you can ride it down low, it doesn't load up. And so that's, that's a great feature of this bike. The biggest, coolest thing about a 200 in general is it feels like a 125 motocross bike. If you've ever gone from a 450 or 250F and then hopped on somebody's 125, it feels like an electric mountain bike, or maybe it's just crazy how light it feels and how fun it is. So that's a benefit of a 200. If you wanna be a little more aggressive, kind of hop around, fling it around, uh, not get tired throughout the day, this thing's super cool. I, I, I love 200, but there is a, a place for them and that's usually on the more technical trails and the enduro riding and stuff like that. You're not, like again, you're not going to the motocross track and hitting the triples on this thing. So overall the suspension is fairly good, but again, it's stock and we played with the clickers. It's, they gotta make suspension work for everybody. I would, like you've heard me preach over and over in videos and you're probably sick of me hearing it. I choose my tire first. I like gummy tires. I like a soft sidewall and I either go with a mousse or a heavy duty tube with low air pressure. I do the same with the front and I'm very choosy about that. I do that because that affects the overall handling, handling of the bike. So if you start chasing clicker settings and sending your suspension off and doing all that, but then you have 13 PSI and a hard carcass tire with crappy rubber compound, it's still gonna feel like crap on the trails. It's not gonna stick to the rocks. It's, it's not gonna be good. So before I start messing with anything else on the bike, I set it up with the tires that I'm used to and that I like, and then I base my suspension settings on that and, and set it up better that way. So another big thing, this is an off-road bike. You guys are off-road riders. You know there's trees, there's stuff you hit. I would undoubtedly grab a set of hand guards on this thing right away. I hit a few bushes and a few branches that pulled the clutch and the brake lever. And if it's technical, you gotta have hand guards. It's just part of off-road riding. So that'd be a big thing. The other thing, betas are kind of notorious for seats. So this thing kind of resembles a two by six that's been shaped uh, and bolted to the bike because it literally transfers everything right into your butt. The seat is super hard. I would hit up Seat Concepts or somebody and get a better seat, a softer seat. And then I would, uh, I'd probably go for one that has a little bit like Seat Concepts makes the one that comes out a little bit past the riding position and uh, makes it more comfortable. The cool thing about Betas is you do just push one button and then the seats come off and you get to your uh, two stroke oil fill bottle and stuff. <laughs> Shout out to Rodney Smith who dropped this bike off to us. Um, we're gonna have it for a few months. We're gonna play around with it. We're gonna switch tires. We're gonna put hand guards. Uh, this guy's cool little headlight. I mean, there's places you're gonna make this street legal if you want a cool little zippy two stroke on the street. And so, yeah, we're gonna have this. We're gonna play with it. Follow up shift. We do lots of videos, free digital online magazine to check out all the time, tons of content and uh, go ride.